to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you. Wait! Wait! We almost forgot the importantest part of this video. We forgot to give Mew Kitty that amazing shout out that she earned for commenting. Here it is. Thank you so much. And um, what I feed my hamster. So let's get on to the video. But first, I just wanted to say that this is not a video to make anyone upset. I'm just showing you guys what I feed my hamster. And yeah, so let's get into the video. Okay guys, so before we begin putting food in the bowl, first we need to wash out this bowl because it looks really dirty. Okay guys, so we are going to start with one tablespoon of original seed mix, the top of a spoon of some flax seeds, a peanut, a little bit of uncooked oats, a gerber puff as a treat, A little bit less for protein is fine as long as you're giving them some source of other protein. I give this mix with all these different things like once a week he gets a peanut and all the other things that I add and then on the regular days like I don't feed him this mix every single day I feed him it whenever it gets empty but I do not give him peanuts every day I give him one peanut a week and I just do a tablespoon of seed mix and flax seeds for the regular daily basis. Now I'm going to add some original, non-flavored, healthy rice cake. I decided to break this up too so he would have more pieces to munch on. Now that we are all done with the dry food, as you could see, there is a quite a variety of stuff in here and I will just give it a little bit of a mix so everything gets combined in really well. There, so basically he has a big meal in this dish and I only do this huge meal once a week for him on Saturdays and I'm sorry this video is going up so late guys. Um, my car, my mom's car decided to shut down and so we had to walk all the way home. So that's why this video is posting so late. So I give an apology for that. Now, now let's, now that we're done with the dry food, let's get on to the fresh food. Okay guys, so first I'm going to start with some romaine lettuce. This is three times washed and it's organic. So it's like so good before i had like a gross bug problem on my lettuces so i like to get the three time washed so you don't have to wash it but i did decide to wash it because that's just what i like to do to make sure that it's extra clean for my animals okay guys so now i'm just gonna add in some other vegetables to my hamster's dish and set aside a little extra lettuce for my bearded dragon, but I will also do another video just regarding on bearded dragons later. Okay guys, so basically I'm done with salad. This may look like a little big for a hamster, but I only do this once per week, and then I just do a teeny bit of lettuce like every day throughout the week, but I want to show you guys. So it's like a tiny little platter. We have some broccoli, some little bit of carrot, cucumber, Roman lettuce, kale, um, apple. We have a lot in here. Occasionally I'll get some peas, but I'm not going to do that today. This is a little bigger than I would normally do, and I'm probably going to take a little bit out of it, just because it is really big for my hamster. But guys, I only really do like a biggish dish one time a week, so just so you don't get worried. Guys, I'm not wasting this food that I have in a pile here. I've been collecting some extras from the hamster's food. I'm also going to take a little bit of this and give it to the bear dragon, because it's too much food, and I'm never giving a hamster like an overloaded salad. You just give them diarrhea and stuff. So yeah, I recommend just salad all throughout the week, with just a little bit of lettuce every single day. And then I recommend just doing like, like a more more ingredient salad one time a week and like I do with my other food because I don't want to get my hamster to have an upset stomach. That's always not nice because it just makes it so they'll get diarrhea and sometimes they can even die from it because how bad it gets sometimes. But so yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that they don't get a good stomach or nothing happens. Also a reminder guys, I would normally add in like some kale 
Uh, but today I didn't really have some kale. I don't know if I accidentally said that I put in kale, but I put in some spinach and Roman lettuce instead of that. So yeah, this is basically Chai's little platter. I think he's gonna really like it. I'm just gonna cut up the carrots a bit more. But yeah, guys, I really, really hope that Chai likes the salad. Um, some of these foods he's never tried before. Um, he's never really tried broccoli, and I think he's tried the rest. But yeah, so I just give it a little bit of broccoli because he's never really tried it before. And also, when you're introducing new fruits or vegetables, I recommend just starting with a little bit and working up to them. And I never recommend a full bowl size salad like you would for a bearded dragon. I would only recommend a little bit. So nothing happens. Okay, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this video on what I feed my hamster. If you did, please give a big thumbs up and like this video and comment down below what fruits and vegetables you use for your hamster and what kind of seed mix, hamster mix do you use. I will be moving on to hairy hamster or sunburst. Those are two really great hamster mixes. It's time to see if Chai likes a salad. Let's put it right here for him. Just cause he, oh, just put it, where do I put it? Oh no. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna put it right by him. You can do it, we it. 